make, you can go to Warframe store and buy things with your in real life money. You can buy platinum in the game and trade for items in the game, but they don't want you to trade for real world money right now. Yeah, so you can report someone for trading real world money. Yet they don't want you to make money. They want to make all the money. They'll let you go to their store on their website. This is with every game. They'll let you give them money, but they don't want you to make any money. The fuck is going on? In this horrible time for everyone, where people are losing their fucking homes, can't even afford fucking food, the gaming industry is raking in several billion more than it usually makes. And the, the whole industry is saying, oh no, you can't make money, only we can. It's just like every government saying, oh yeah, you want to go and make money? Okay, you gotta pay us money because you exist. Yeah, it's called insurance. Yeah, and now you need it for your car and your home, too. Yeah, because we say so. That's why. No, no, I don't give a fuck what you say. It, it's not a legalized Ponzi scheme. It, it's taxation and, and it's insurance because we say so. Yeah, and, and you're, you're going to send money to your friend online? You're going to do it online? Yeah, you, we're taxing that. Yeah, you want to store money in a bank? Yeah, we're going to tax you on that, too. Oh, but you want to make money without paying us taxes? That's illegal. We're going to put you in prison now, and we're going to make you pay even more money to us. Yeah. It's the same damn difference, isn't it? You can't make money, but we can because we make the rules. So saith the governments of the world, and now you're seeing it leak into the gaming industry even more, more virulently than it has been before. How much longer, humanity? How much fucking longer? Until you wise the fuck up. You get up off your fucking asses. And you start killing the tyrant terrorist scumbags in charge. They're, they're not in control of you because they're in charge and that's the way it is. It's even written in the United States Declaration of Independence that it's the citizen's responsibility to rise up against such tyranny when it exists and to abolish it or destroy it and reestablish a new system of governments to uphold your unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So, so America, at least. Why the fuck haven't you had a bloody fucking revolt? I can't. <laughs> I'm on fucking heart medication. The stress will fucking kill me, literally. But for the rest of you lazy fucks. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? The government's saying you can't make money. You can't go and, and you know, run a hair salon or, or in anything or a restaurant because, oh, this bad situation, this virus... Either the virus exists and people need to be safe from it and the government needs to start giving everybody a monthly fucking check until this situation's over and done with. I'm not talking about some penny ante bullshit $1,200. People's fucking... People's one week's worth of groceries is that fucking much. You're fucking joking. People need... Fucking tens of thousands of dollars. Not corporations who are doing this shit right here. Yeah, this is just the, the game industry. One little small sector of it. Doing that shit right there. We the people. We are the ones who support your fucking government. Yeah, you do what the fuck we tell you, okay? I don't consent to your bullshit. I don't consent to your control or authority over my life. Whether you consent or not, my authority over you, government scum. Do what the fuck I'm telling you. Or all these slaves that you've got, all these mindless sheeple, 
who you're oppressing with your taxes and your tyranny and your terrorism, they're going to wise the fuck up one of these days. Within the next ten years. And then you are suddenly going to be wondering, what the fuck happened? All your bunkers and shit, no shot collar and no fucking robot army is going to stop the people from getting in. If they want in, they're going to get the fuck in. And they're going to kill your fucking ass, all you bitches and terrorists in charge. And you're not going to exist anymore. And then everybody's going to have to start over from scratch. And I will laugh my fucking ass off when you fucking morons repeat the exact same bullshit mistakes that led to this situation right now. Because this shit that's going on right now, that's been brewing for the last 30 to 40 goddamn years at minimum. That's the minimum amount of runtime this shit's been brewing. You fuckers have been slow boiled like the frog in the fucking, uh, not the blender. That's what's happening right now. It suddenly got cranked up to being a frog in a blender. But the slow boiling thing, that's been going on for the last fucking 30 to 40 years at minimum. What the fuck, people? You're all stuck in your paranoid, delusional psychosis of, you know, someone says something different than what the government tells me is bad. Okay. You, you keep believing that. And I'm going to laugh when, when you're out on the street and you suddenly wake up and realize, oh my God, the government's been bad this whole time. I'm going to fucking laugh when all of you idiots die under a fucking bridge homeless like the trolls you fucking are. Because, you know, you suddenly woke up and realized, I've got no fucking home, no food, I'm under a fucking bridge. The government didn't protect me worth shit. They took my stuff, actually. They took everything from me. When, when all of you fucking morons wake up and realize, I'll be laughing. I've tried to help by saying things to get you to wake the fuck up, to fuck with your normalcy bias in your mind, to be a contrarian to your oh-so-precious bullshit. I've tried... I've tried everything I can think of with verbal interface going. I've tried to shake you out of your fucking delusional psychosis. I've tried to shake you out of your sleepwalking. Like a British fucking nanny on a baby. Yes, I've tried. Now I'm to the point where I feel like maybe I should make this the last fucking video where I'm saying something about it. Maybe I should just stop saying shit about it altogether and go back to doing my, my solo uh, storyline bullshit on YouTube and video games. Maybe I should do that. It's been recently within the past two or three weeks that I've started thinking, maybe I should stop saying something about it altogether because no one fucking listens. Because no one fucking cares. Because the bureaucracy and the corporatocracy that has destroyed the, the, the fucking sanctity of just being alive has raped and murdered the fun of just existing, of having friends and family. It has corrupted their minds into believing that their government's going to protect them when it's not. It, it's just a shit show. And if you want historic proof of this, well, you don't have to go back to the ancient Roman and Greek Empire. You don't have to look at Zimbabwe and, and fucking, uh, what's the other four or five places, including Japan, uh, what's going on in the world. That's just recent. You don't have to have all these proofs from way back when. You can just look back and see they had the opportunity to go off and put another stimulus check out for everybody. 
and they've been dragging it out and dragging it out and dragging it out and dragging it out. Playing little childish games. Oh, if the election doesn't go the way I want it to, I'm just gonna blah, 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 blah. Grow the fuck up. You want to send these fuckers a message? Don't fucking vote. Don't vote for the shit sandwich or the giant fucking douche. Fuck both of them. I never have voted and I never fucking will because the system's so fucking corrupt and screwed up and manipulated. It's bought, sold, and paid for and it's nothing more than a piece of slave in the confusopoly of whatever the fuck you want to insert fucking bureaucratically minded corporatocracy here. I don't fucking care. I never cared about that shit. If you think voting is so fucking important, you're deluded. You deserve to die homeless under a fucking bridge like the troll you are. And yeah, the fuckers in charge will try to use that type of thought to go right into the Confusopoly and keep all the little plebeian sheeple fighting each other. I'm not one of your plebeian sheeple. You fuckers in the government have sent assassins after me. I'm still fucking here. I'm not one of your slaves. Your system's not going to exist for very much longer. Globally, the whole fucking system, it's in its dying throes of death. It's death throes right now. There will come a point where I won't be able to upload a fucking video to tell you, hey, you're about to fucking die. And you're doing it to yourself. There'll come a time when nobody will be able to communicate. Not with your phones. Not even with fucking uh, shortwave radios. All this shit's gonna go out. And you'll be alone. And what the fuck are you gonna do then? What the fuck are you gonna do when your government doesn't give a shit about you and they actually show up and they take everything you've got and you can't show anyone no one will believe you anyway. Even if you do have pictures. They'll be like, yeah, sure, whatever. I don't fucking care. Fuck you. They're not going to give a shit about you. What happens then? When all your, your internet shit's gone. When the internet goes the fuck out. Your government shows up with fucking the military. And takes all your prepper shit. All your gold and all your fucking guns. All you hoarders, and they take all your fucking shit from you, too. And no one believes you, and everyone laughs at you because you got what the fuck you deserved. All you did was hoard everything for yourself. You didn't give a fuck about us. When you were on YouTube, it was just, oh yeah, sure, here, go buy gold. You're front-loading some fucking Ponzi scheme to sell out to. What happens when people f view you that way? What happens when your neighbor turns against you? Puts a gun to your fucking head. What happens when the shit really gets thick? Because it's coming to that. It's going to come to that. It's inevitable. It may be ten years. But it's going to come to the point where your government is realized for the thug, the terrorist, the tyrant, the criminal that it really is, and they all retreat to their bunkers, and all of you fucking morons, you're left to go at each other's throats. It's gonna come to that. And this shit I'm showing you, from one little company in the gaming industry, trying to make money and prevent you from making money while playing the game you're gonna look back and think that things like this were a sign of the bullshit to come just like a lot of people are looking back 
at Mike Maloney Silver and Gold videos on his YouTube channel. And they're looking at his um, his timeline videos, and they're going, "Yeah, that shit's happening right fucking now. We better listen to this guy." And then suddenly he and another one do a fucking 180, start telling you buy gold, buy silver. It was him and the Atlantis report. They start front loading, buy gold, buy silver. Use our links in the description. Go buy gold, buy silver. Bitch, please, that gold and silver ain't gonna do fuck for you. You can't take it to the grocery store and actually get fucking groceries. Or take it to the hardware store or any other shop and buy materials with it right now. You know what you're better off doing? You're better off buying shit to set up to, to plant and grow your own damn food. All you fucking morons. You think you know something, but you don't. And after society gets real bad, after your government abandons your fucking asses, every last one of you across the planet, once you realize the bureaucrats and the corporate fucks don't never have given a shit about you, because they've retreated to their bunkers and left all their fucking slaves out front to kill you when you approach, once you finally realize that, It'll be too late. And that's not even the worst that's going to happen. Because it's going to get a lot worse after that. There's some shit you could never fucking have imagined that's going to happen. And it's pointless to say anything about it right now because you fuckers won't listen. You're too stupid, ignorant, dumb, naive. You're all a bunch of niggers in my eyes. Niggers, noun, an ignorant person, moron, someone who is incapable of learning. I'm using those words for their literal definition in the dictionary. If you don't like it, go fucking kill yourself. I don't give a shit. Delete the video, YouTube. Be a little bitch, like you always are. Because I'm going to laugh when you fuckers get what you deserve. I hope it's broadcast on a live stream too.